next offering is fouled back. And pretty remarkable that the kid from Houston comes back to beat the Houston Astros in the World Series. So long in that town and unfortunately had to break their hearts at that one. I don't know about you, Chris, but that felt like a weird at bat right there. Didn't give much to hit till the final pitch and he still got the backwards K. Yeah, not a single pitch was actually inside the strike zone, but he was being very aggressive in the box and fell behind in the count. Then they finally do challenge him and he couldn't get the bat off his shoulder. Kind of a strange strikeout for sure, Boog. Top of the third, no score. That one ran inside, almost got him. And the next pitch is way outside. And another ball. This doesn't seem to want to throw him a fastball. Inside corner for a strike. Out to short, Bichette whips it across, it. and that quickly two away. And now it's going to be Logan Ohapi. Ohapi measures six feet two inches, 23 years old, and they went out and made a trade for him last season. Not close with that one, but he gets him to go after it. The next offering misses at one and one. Chop to third, and he grabs it in foul ground. Next pitch in the dirt. Two balls, two strikes to Cal with two outs. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Chase the fastball up the ladder. As we go to the last of the third, and now it's Dalton Varsho. Line drive, speared at first, and very nicely done for the out. Here's Kevin Kiermeyer. First pitch, just misses. Kiermeyer in his 10th season, hitting ninth in today's lineup, and he's a former Gold Glover in the American League. One down, base is empty. Ball two. Swing and a ball popped up. Fletcher makes the grab, and there's two down. The batter, number Whit 15. Merrifield up to the plate. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Singy Reed Detmer's 10th overall pick in the 2020 draft. You're talking about a guy who is a really good player at Louisville, and in his rookie year, he authored a no-hitter. Trout makes the grab, and that's the inning. One, two. And welcome back. On to the fourth. Here's David Fletcher. David Fletcher. Barrios back to work. Fly ball down the line. And no one could get to it. It's a foul ball. The pitch. That one misses. One ball, one strike. Good eye in that spot. The two on. This to third. Whips it to first. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Ward, the batter now, as he swings and misses for strike one. That's off the mark, and it's a ball and a strike. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. And at first with one gone, Mike Trout, the next to hit for the Angels. 
And there's the strike. Mike Trout, just a special player, a special human, does everything well on the baseball field and seems to do it as well off the field. Roll to short, possible two ball. Feed to second, that's one. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. Here's Shohei Otani. Worked a walk in his first trip to the plate. In the air to left center. Great effort as he's able to haul it in. That. Here comes a pitch. And there's a foul ball. And now the one. Next offering is outside. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Line to right, and that'll be a base hit. And that's going to roll to the wall. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. The throw in, and he's into second with nobody out. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that ball. Can't get there. And now maybe extra bases. Espinal rounds third, headed for the plate. He will score. And it's 1-0. That's two consecutive extra base hits for these guys. Just a cookie down the middle. now in Toronto now it's Hunter Renfro the right field number 12 the pitch there's a strike you know oh, these angels definitely being aggressive at the plate but I think it's fair to wonder if they're being a little over aggressive they're swinging at more than 70 percent of the first pitches they've seen today and it's just not working out for them So those first pitch numbers tell me they should try to find a way to slow this game down a bit. Things have been moving just too quickly for them at times. Next offering is fouled back. And the 0-2. And ball one. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And one out now. Here's one final look at the line score from this one, Chris. It was a close two-run game, and a couple of key moments just really made the difference. Not much separate. Joined by my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm just, just about set to go now. Today's starting pitcher, Kevin Gossman. Well, this guy has a ton of respect from his own teammates and the guys that are playing behind him just seem to take it to another level. You know, he's the type of guy, if he's not having a good day, to try to save that bullpen for the game and the next game, he'll go out there and wear it. So in this one, if he can keep his pitch count down early, he has the ability to work deep into this ballgame. At the belt and fires. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. Kevin Gosman hails from Colorado, but he played his college ball at LSU. He was the fourth overall pick in the 2012 draft. Made his debut at 22 years old in 2013, and he has gotten himself through a lot. Tries to hold up. Appeal to first. He went around, according to Carl Dixon. Here's the left fielder, Taylor Ward. In the air, out to center. Kiermaier makes the catch. And there are two down. Here's Trout. And first offering is fouled off. 
Yeah, and coming through the minor leagues, he was expected to be the number one starter for the Baltimore Orioles and never quite lived up to that billing, but continued to fight ups and downs. Well, we'll hold that thought as that's the third out. Bottom of the first, and now to the plate, here's the Toronto DH, Whit Merrifield. Pitch misses ball, inside, and that's ball one. One ball, no strike. On the ground to first. Tosses to the pitcher, covering the bag. And a quick out, number one. In the air, left field, down the line. And a foul ball. One down, base is empty. Bounced out to short, and that one finds its way through. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you've got to make them pay. And first offering is fouled off. Turned on, but that's foul down the third baseline. Bo Bichette, second-round pick, 2016, and a kid who comes from pretty good baseball family. His dad, Dante, played for California, Milwaukee, Colorado, Cincinnati, and Boston over 14 big league seasons, and Dante could swing it. Yeah, and you just get the sense in watching Bo that this guy, all he wants to do is win. A gamer goes hard and wants to lead that ball club to a championship. Good feed, that's one, and that's two. Top of the second, now it's the DH for the Angels, Shohei Otani. Gosman, back to work. See the velocity, 97 with that fastball. They say it went. No ball, two strikes. Gonna count one and two. O2 two fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him off. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out and one away. Now it's Hunter Renfro. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. Gosman, a former All Star. He features a four-seam fastball, a splitter, a slider, and he works in a changeup. Looks like a really good fastball today. You can hear that catcher's mitt popping. Looking forward to hearing a lot of that one in this one. Swings and misses, struck him out. Off to a strong start, Singy, as he's punched out three of the first five he's faced. Well, he's definitely minimizing contact. He can get the swing and miss when he needs it, but he'll also keep the defense fresh behind him. Allowing some balls in play as well. Yo one. Swing and a miss. Ahead 0-2 in the count. Sure, you've got four pitches you can work with, but throw something you can command and get this at bat over with as quickly as possible. Next pitch what? way upstairs. And down on strikes he goes. And a nice inning of Bottom of the second. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now. Ripped into left center, base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Alejandro Kirk next up for the Blue Jays. And the first oh. pitch misses for ball one. Chris Alejandro Kirk, stocky catcher, an all-star in 2022. Yeah. This guy can hit. Yeah, he can, and really just surprised everyone coming onto the scene, doing such a great job that became an all-star with very little big league experience before that. Swing, and this one's bounced to the ground. Goes to second, hey, safe yeah. there. He's in there. And here is Matt Chapman. Oh, happy. Pulls it in, one away. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. Dalton Varsho in the box now, takes strike one. Yeah. 
Line drive, that's a base hit. Laddie coming around third. Here's the throw to the plate. Run scores easily, and it's 1-0. Well, they strike first as he gets the job done to bring home the run. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Out to short, Fletcher. Here's one to first, not in time. Great effort there. With Merrifield up to the plate. Line drive, base hit right field. The run scores from third, it's 2-0. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Tosses to first, that ends the inning, and they limit. Out of the third inning, so in now for the Angels, Anthony Rendon. Gosman back to work. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. The other way. Hauls it in for the out. Now it's the second baseman, Luis Rangifo. And first offering is fouled off. Rangifo starting up the middle at second. 26 years old, and he was born in Venezuela. Line and caught at third by Chapman. The Gold Glover makes the play. Two outs, base is empty. Logan Ohapi, the next to hit for the Angels. Swing and a miss. Some of the greatest players in the history of the game were born in Venezuela, including one that finished with 500-plus home runs, 3,000-plus hits, and a triple crown. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that is that. Back here at Rogers Center, and now Bo Bichette. First pitch, and he just misses. Next pitch misses, and now 2-0. We head to the bottom of the fifth. And now for the Jays, Santiago Espinal. Oh. And that is in for a strike. Strike oh. one. That one pushed foul. Fights it off, you'll see another. Going two now. Tap back to the mound. Sneaks through. Base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Bo Bichette up to the dish. Fastball off the plate a little bit, but a really nice job of going with it. Punched it to the opposite field for that knock. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. The 0-2. Got him! And that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three-pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there, at least to foul something oh. off, extend that at bat. Springer can't hold up, and that's a strike. Oh. The next pitch misses. Ball one. That's through there for a strike. One and two here. In the air, right side. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint. Two away. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. One for two. In for a strike, and that's strike one. No Vladimir Guerrero no Jr., he's made Dad proud so far in his career. Multiple All-Star appearances. A guy who was born in Montreal way back when, 1999, when his dad was playing for the Expos. Yeah, and so much violence with that swing. Exit velocity is charged and very fun to watch. More play discipline than that. That's a laser base hit. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front, ripped it into the outfield.
that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. And that one fouled off. The 1-1. One -one. Swings, and this one's flared. And there's a base hit. Runner around third on his way to the plate. The throw is offline, and he's in to score. It's 3-2. Here's Matt Chapman. Chapman gets a piece there. Two on, two outs. That one fouled off. And a pitch. That's ripped, and this one could be extra bases. Guerrero headed for the plate. He'll score easily. It's 4-2. Pulls into second. That's an RBI double. Comes through with the RBI. Fastball pretty much middle-middle, and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter. So no surprise, he put a great swing on it. Varsho into box again. Takes a strike. And that is in for a strike. And it's nothing in two. Two outs, two in scoring position. Swing and a miss, and that is that. So it's two. Back here at the ballpark, start of the six, John Shambi with Chris Singleton. And leading off, Taylor Ward. Ward. The pitch. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. And he can't quite get there, it's a foul ball. Oh, and two as he waves oh, at that one. Not sure what's going on right there, no chance. He'll probably have some uh, funny texts from his buddies after the game. Next offering way off the plate. And the righty deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. The high heat too much on that one. Here's Mike Trout. Outfield playing very deep. Not wanting anything over their heads. This one in the air right field. And George makes the grab. Shohei Otani up to the dish. Swings and misses. That's strike one. Otani measures six feet, four inches, 210 pounds, and he's a former rookie of the year. And a foul ball. The 0-2. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. So he's gotten deep into the... Welcome back. You're out. Everyone, welcome to Inside the Show, your source for all. About to get started here and towing the slab here, Shohei Otani. Well, he went the distance last time, came away with the W, and we'll see if he can continue that trend in this one. Foul ball. Down on strikes, and he knew it. Here's Kiermaier now. Swing, and a ball popped up. Fletcher makes the grab, and there's two gone. Bo Bichette up to the dish. This one smoked out to left. Ward makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Back in Anaheim. Today's starting pitcher, Alec Manoa. And leading off. Yeah, and when he's on, he's a real treat to watch. I become a fan myself. You know, he often takes the pressure off of his hitters to score a lot of runs, but they have to be careful to not just go into a slumber. They've got to put up some runs 
make it a little bit easier for this guy so he doesn't have to battle every time that he's out there. No one should be surprised, though, if he settles in and takes control of the game and throws a shutout. Out front and foul to the left side. Right, he delivers. He dives, but he can't make the catch. Can't pick it up with the bare hand. And he beats it. That's a hit. Great try there. So, man aboard. And now batting, Mike Trout. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. At 30 years old, Mike Trout, 1,000 runs, 300 homers, 200 stolen bases. The only other players in Major League history with those numbers at that age, A-Rod and Willie Mays. Here's the 0-2. Goes down looking. Well, just excellent location on that inside fastball. Really locked him up. And it's a hitter. It's not typically what you're looking for. You're trying to protect away and then in. So you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes. Hard to tell if he was fooled or if he thought it would be called a ball. But either way, that's a really nice pitch. Righty to the plate. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. Racing makes the catch. Back here at Angel Stadium, second inning set to go. And it'll be George Springer to step to the plate. Kicks and fires. All right, so you know I'm a dork. Shohei Otani, go back to May 5th, 2022 at Fenway Park. He tossed a complete game through 99 pitches. Get this, 81 strikes. It was the most strikes thrown with less than 100 pitches in a game since they started tracking pitch counts. That's, That's just unreal. Ball one, no strike. Second inning here, no score. Aye. Next offering is in for a strike. Fought off foul. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. Now here is Alejandro Kirk. On the ground, right side. Fires over to first. And that is that. So they and welcome back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And the batter now, Hunter Renfro. Hunter Renfro. And a pitch. He swings and fouls one off. Manoa, an all-star a season ago. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a sinker, and he works in a changeup. Next offering is in for a strike. I mean, that's perfect location right on the black. I mean, over and over again, this guy demonstrates the ability to hit those spots. They're so tough to do anything with as a hitter. And that one is lifted in the air. Springer there makes the catch, and Renfro is retired. And there's one down. Brandon Drury to the plate. Now fly ball to right center. Kiermaier makes the catch. Two away down. Now it's Anthony Rendon. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. And he deals. Swinging a foul back. That's out of play. Two down. Nobody on. Knocks that one away. And we'll do it again. The 0-2. Hit on the ground to the right side. And it goes just foul. And the 2 stays alive. The idea was right. Looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. The pitch. Lifted in the air right field. And that is Springer. And that will end the inning. And the Angels.
Well, here we go. Top of the third scoreless game. And now here is Brandon Bell. Not many guys go up there looking for an 0-0 breaking ball, but a good way for the pitcher oh, to get ahead in the count. 0-2 now. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The pitch. Foul ball still 0-2. And yeah, the right-hander deals. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. Got him looking. And one gone. Well, not much you can argue with there as a hitter. That pitch was dotted on the inside corner of the plate. I think even if he swings the bat, it blows him up and not really able to do anything with it anyhow. I think if you see that early, then perhaps you can pull those hands a little bit tighter and get the fat part of the bat to it. But I'd say overall, you just have to tip your cap on that one. Great execution. Fletcher fires over to first. First two batters retired here in the top of the third. Matt Chapman now at the plate as he swings through strike one. Ball one low. And now the count one and two after the swing and the miss. Top of the third, no score. Got him looking, that's a strikeout. Back here at the ballpark, set for the bottom of the third, and now it's the switch hitting second baseman, Luis Rangifo. And a pitch. Oh. And first offering is fouled off. You know, these Angels, as you probably noticed, haven't been shy at the plate at all. In fact, they've probably been too aggressive at times. The numbers tell us they're swinging at the first pitch more than 90% of the time. And that's an extremely high number, especially when you're not getting results, Boo. two now and that just misses caught a break right there pretty good pitch on the outside corner two now that one down the line and that's just foul another one two in the air center field Kiermaier moving under it puts it away for the out here's the Angels catcher Logan Ohapi Going one. One down, base is empty. Into center. Snags it for the second out. Here's David Fletcher. He's over one. Pop up here, third base side. Bichette puts the squeeze on that one, and that's... Welcome back. New inning getting started. Now here's the leadoff man for the Blue Jays, Santiago Espinal. The 1-0. Yeah. There's a strike. And a one-two again. Spoils a two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. And a one-two. Got him. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Here's Kevin Kiermaier. 0 for 1 with a flyout. In there for strike one. Singy Shohei Otani has been as advertised. Rookie of the year in 18, MVP in 21. He has impacted the game in a major way. And then, of course, 
He was on the cover of MLB The Show in 2022. Well, he's doing something that we've never seen done before and just absolutely phenomenal that he can be that dominant on the mound and be one of the top hitters in the game. And just watching that, it, it, it's got to take your breath away a little bit if you're a manager or a teammate to see this actually happening before your eyes. That's a hit. And now a two-out opportunity for George Springer. In there, that's a double. Seeing some good swings from him right now with consecutive extra base hits. Nice line drive to the pole side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. Now let's see if they can put up the first run of the game. Next pitch is popped up. He's under it. But it's the shortstop that gets there. Bottom four. And down the number two up. hitter, Taylor Ward. The left fielder, Taylor. The right hitter back to work. Ripped on the ground a second. Over to first. One out in the bottom of the fourth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. Otani in the box now as he looks at ball one. Second plate appearance of the day for him. Swing and a miss. And a count one and one. Two outs. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. And the pitch. That one gets away from him. Ball one. Kirk to first. Not in time. He beats it out and keeps the inning alive. Hunter Renfro at the plate. Hit it well, but flied out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Varsho makes the catch, and that'll do it. Back in Anaheim, ready now for the fifth inning. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now. On the corner for a strike, 0-1. Oh, well, these Jays just aren't putting together very many good at-bats in this one. Just one base runner to this point, and it's not exactly early anymore. They have guys in this lineup capable of sparking something, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. Trout makes the grab, one down. Here's the Toronto catcher, Alejandro Kirk. There's the strike. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. Next offering is foul back. And a swing and a miss. Picks up strikeout number seven. Now there's a three-pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. Bell stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Next offering is in for a strike. Brandon Bell, who grew up in Texas, played his college ball at the University of Texas. And then went on to win World Series with the Giants in 2012 and 24. Here's a drive out to right center. Way back there. Look out. Gone. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. Bows that off to the left, and we'll do it again. The 0-2. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. He swung over top of the curveball. Jays open it up with a solo homer. It's back here at Angel Stadium, bottom of the inning. Now, Brandon Drury. The right-hander back to work. That one is absolutely belted. And it hits the fence. Relay throw. In there. He's safe. 
Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Just missed out on a home run right there, but he certainly hit it hard enough. Just didn't have the right launch angle. Runner, runner, runner. runner takes off for third. Bunting, but that's a foul ball. Right-hander kicks, deals. Runner on the go again. One away. To second with the throw and no chance to get back. It's a double play. So Singy, as the numbers show, a great performance on the mound in this one. Absolutely, and that really set the tone from the beginning. Inside the show with Justin Allegri. Welcome to the show, baseball fans. Here's what's going on in the baseball world. With Chris Singleton, I'm John Chump. And now for the Jays, Santiago Espinal. To the right side. He takes it on oh. his own. One out in the top of the first. Here's Kiermaier now. Pretty amazing going way back. Possibly the best center fielder I've ever seen. And here it comes. And it's fouled away. Nope. Next offering upstairs. It's a good take. One ball, two strikes. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. No score just getting started top of the first. Gets a piece and stays alive. And down on strikes. And the struggles continue in the postseason. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's the shortstop, Bo Bichette. There's a strike. And that's a base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. He was all over that one. Nice line drive to the pull side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. The pitch. That one hooked foul. Chris George Springer, a Connecticut native, in fact, played his college ball at UConn. First round. Three. Got him looking. That ends the frame. Bottom of the first. So in now for the Angels, David Fletcher. The wine in the pitch. Fletcher. And first offering is fouled off. Yeah, just a tremendous athlete, and his signing was the turning point in the Houston Astros organization to become a winning franchise. And you remember that magazine cover back in 24. Knocks it down. But the throw to first gets him easily, and that's the first out. New pitcher now for the Jays, Tim Meza. He's into the game with the bases empty. Bounce to the left side, Bichette. Two away. Here's Trout. That's out to center field. And the inning is over. Back here at the ballpark, all set for the start of the inning. And now for the Jays, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Kicks and deals. And fouled off. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Well, one of the things that hitters will do is they'll look for that red dot on the baseball as it's coming in to let him know 
what the pitch is. And if they see the red dot, it's typically a slider. But when a guy's got a really tight one with high spin rates, very difficult to determine. And that's probably why we saw a swing and miss right there. Just a nasty pitch. Brandon hey. Bell in the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. And that one almost got him. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. you got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. No score here in the second. Next offering is foul back. See how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that'll do it. To do it for the Blue Jays. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom half of inning number two. Here's Nico Horner. And a pitch. And the slider just misses. Chris, it's always interesting to me to see a guy like Nico Horner, who wasn't drafted out of high school and then out of Stanford, was a first-round pick. That's some serious growth as a player. It gets down base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff knock. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Late swing, fouled off. Next offering is foul back. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. At the belt and fires. Cuts and misses, it's a strikeout. Stood absolutely no chance on that slider right there, and I don't mean to laugh, but that's a tough one. I mean, pretty much a perfect strikeout pitch. I mean, it looks like a fastball middle in, kind of has cutter action, and it just bunches you up to where you can't get your hand. And there's the third out. That'll do it for the... Welcome back. Now the left fielder, Dalton Varsho. And there's the strike. Next one misses. One and two to count. One ball, two strikes. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And one away in the top of the third. And here is Matt Chapman. Out towards right center field. Trout settles under it. Two up, two down. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. That's excellent location on the fastball right there early in this game. If he can do that all game, it should be a good outing for him. He's there. He's got it. And that is that. And welcome back. And now the veteran third baseman, Anthony Rendon. The pitch. Meza, in his fifth season, he features a sinker, a slider, and he works in a four-seamer. And that one fouled off. Next pitch is outside. Kicks and fires. Ground ball right side. Fires over to Guerrero. That takes care of Rendon. Luis Rangifo digs in now. Swing and a hard hit liner up the middle to base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. 
Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. You'll often hear the phrase short to it, long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. They get it in quickly. So first and second down, one out. Back-to-back -back base hits. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity right on top of it. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Fletcher retired. Here's the left fielder, Taylor Ward. Grounded out his first time up. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. Kiermaier makes the grab and that'll end Back in Anaheim, start of the fourth. Here's Kevin Kiermaier. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Bunt attempt popped up. Calls it in, and there's one away. Well, he gave the bunt a shot there, but not able to execute. Yeah, I think he rushed it a little bit. And when guys rush, it can be a pop-up or can be bunted right back at a position player. Next offering is in for a strike. Oh, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at-bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. Down the line towards the corner. And it jumps the wall in foul territory for an automatic double. Scott Barlow gets the ball now. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings and a in little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Trap brings it in, and there's two down. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. Guerrero in the box now, takes strike one. That to right. He gets there to make the play. A nice running grab. Back here at Angel Stadium, John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Mike Trout. Here comes a pinch. Ripped, but it curls foul. Mike Trout, the 25th overall pick in the 2009 draft. He was actually a compensation pick for the Angels for the free agent loss of Mark Teixeira when he signed with the New York Yankees. The 0-2. Fights it off, he'll see another. The pitch. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Kiermaier balls it in, and there's one away. And now it's the Angels' cleanup batter, Nico Horner. Showed a really nice opposite field approach in his last at bat. Base hit, center field. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Mesa checks over to first and he's back. And now the lefty tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. And a pitch. Now snap throw to first. Corner gets back easily. Struck him out looking. Brandon Drury to the plate. Brandon Drury. Foul ball there. Well, if he's going to steal second, 
You want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Bichette whips it to first. Inning over. Back here at the ballpark. And here's the catcher, Alejandro Kirk. Yeah. Edge of the zone, call the strike. And that is strike one. Hey. That one catches the corner for a strike. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches now in an 0-2 hole. He's going to have to battle, hope he gets a mistake. Comebacker to the mound. The throw to first. And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. Up to the plate, it's Brandon Belt. This ball's chopped on the ground. On to first. Oh. And a couple of quick outs. And now it's Dalton Varsho. Swings through that oh, one. 0-1. Oh, Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. Rendon has a beat on it. Puts the squeeze on that one. And that'll end the inning. Zach Pop comes on now. And he's had three days off since he pitched last, so expect him to be totally rested. I'm sure he's itching for this opportunity right now. Pitch. And that one in the air center field. And there's one down. The batter, number four, second baseman. Now at the plate, Luis Rangifo. To the right side, Espinal gathers and throws to first. Old man for the fifth inning, moving along two quick outs. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground, nice ground out. Logan Ohapi, the next to hit for the Angels.
And first offering is fouled off. Right handed reliever. Hard hit, left field, base hit. Now he turns and heads for second. The throw in, but he's in there easily. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. Back to the top of the lineup. Here's David Fletcher. And first offering is fouled off. And the righty deals. And a swing and a miss. I'll tell you this, that's going to go on that pitcher's highlight reel. This one in the dirt in plenty of time to first Fletcher retire that top of the sixth inning Lee now it's Matt Chapman the third baseman Matt Chapman the wind of the pitch and yeah, that's outside one and oh Chapman measures six feet even, 215 pounds, and he took home a gold glove in 2021. Well, that's that slurp right there. He threw it extremely well. He talked about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel One to. Ball, and breaks. a big swing and a miss. Next offering is fouled back. One, two now. Swing and a miss. Slider got him for a strike three. Back to the leadoff spot in the Blue Jays lineup. So up next for Toronto, Santiago Espinal. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Espinal, a former All-Star, 28 years old. He's been on a terrific run at the plate. Hitting over 350 in his last 10. Oh. Next offering misses. Two, two balls, balls, no, no strikes. Play. He's been raking in recent games, and a big reason why getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently, and you see the results. Here's a 3 0. Hey. And that one fouled off. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder, Kevin Kiermeyer. Left-hand hitter waits. Swing and a ball popped up. Rendon makes the catch in and go. Welcome back. Bottom of the sixth inning. So in now for the Angels, Taylor Ward. Pop back to work. Ground ball left side. And it's through for a hit. So a man on base to start the inning. That pretty much split the zone down the middle. And those are the ones where you've got to make them pay. Trout goes after that one for strike one. The other way, over to Bichette. Back to first, double play. 3-6-3, three, three, nicely done. And now the designated hitter for the Angels, Nico Horner. Good swing out of him last time. Ripped a liner into center. On the ground. And it finds its way through for a hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. 
now it's Hunter Renfro who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. And there's a foul ball. Pop, 26 years old, and he was drafted in the seventh round back in 2017. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Real ugly 0-1 swing right there as a pitcher. Got to be hunting for that strikeout. Keep him off balance. Send him back to the dugout. Broken bat. Roller to first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do. And welcome back. We go to the top of the seventh, and now the shortstop, Bo Bichette. That's in for a strike. Some guys are just more confident. They can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. That's to third. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. No play. That's an infield single. And the batter is George Springer. On the mound now, Aaron Luke. And first offering is fouled off. And here comes. Luke. And a foul ball. and misses it's a strikeout here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. outfield deep here trying to prevent anything over their heads and first offering is fouled off kicks and deals line drive base hit around second is Bichette the throw to third and he's out Here's the catcher, Alejandro Kirk. And he can't make the play. But they get the out at first, and that'll do it for the inning. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Jimmy Garcia. Stuart Baroa in the box now takes strike one yeah I'm surprised we didn't see a visit from the pitching coach here just to remind him focus on the hitter don't worry about anything else outside corner got him looking he can't believe so coming into the game now on defense Kevin Biggio he takes over as the new first baseman we head to the bottom of the night now it's Hunter Renfro and a pitch. Back to the mound. And Renfro is retired. Fastball grew right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air. Maybe drive it into the gap. And first offering is fouled off. Righty delivers. Lays out. Oh, it's off his glove. 
He decides to hold on to it, and the defense comes away with nothing. Substitution being made at first. Bench running here. Gio Urshela. Anthony Rendon making his way to the plate. Pitch and run is at first. Here's the third baseman, Matt Chapman. That one's in there, 0-1. On, on the ground right side, 4, 6, 3. It's a double play, and that'll do it for Back in Anaheim, and now the catcher comes up to him, Logan Ohoppy. With the right-hander back to work. Out to short. Throw over to Biggio. And here in the 10th, the leadoff man is out. So up next, David Fletcher, known for his late-inning heroics. 